Hey guys, Brooke G here. How's everybody doing? Um, I am so behind on videos. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple of older pieces um, that actually don't have videos. Um, I probably like, you know, Brooke, you suck. I saw the thumbnail. I thought you were going to paint these, but no, no, no videos. Just wanted to show them to you. Um, one, because they're very October-y, and um, two, because they were both technically fails. So, but then they ended up being some of my favorite pieces. But um, five times now, five, five times, I have attempted to do the wing pour. All five of those times were unsuccessful wing pours. <laughs> um, and the two that I'm about to show you were two of them. Um, but out of the five, four of them, they weren't successful wing pours, but they turned into things that I really, really liked. Um, one of them didn't, only because I didn't give it enough time and I scraped it off instead of leaving it be and then looking at it the next day, which is what I did with these two. So this one here, this was, it was a wing pour. If you look at the, try to look at the background, and it was just three colors. It was magenta, um, a yellow, I think cad yellow, and um, phalo turquoise. And the wing pour didn't work. So I started swiping and balloon smashing and string pulling my way into 50 shades of gray. It's basically what I got back there. Let's see if I can get it. To, there we go. Yeah, if you look at the background there, yeah. I was just swirling string around this canvas. <laughs> and then finally, I was like, all right, I give up. But I left it alone. I let it dry. And um, the next day, I looked at it, and I was like, this reminds me of October. I'm going to give it a creepy tree. So I gave it a creepy tree. And I love it. I had to add one little flower. I just needed a itty bitty teeny bit of color, but I love it. It's one of my favorites. And <laughs> it was a primary color wing pour, and now it's very much not. But I absolutely adore it. Alrighty, and the other one. This one, I called it, I think I named it Cloaked. It's, um, maybe you guys see it. This was, again, I was swiping and string pulling and doing whatever I could. Um, same three colors, same attempt at a wing pour, but I don't know if you guys see it, but the figure there, if you look here, it's like a shoulder, a hooded head there, like an arm going up. I don't know if you guys can see that. I did not see it at first. And then if you look at it, this kind of looks like wings coming out of there. Um, I did not see it when I finally left it alone and said, I'm going to bed. I'm not messing with it anymore. Um, and this, it was the next day that I looked at it and I was like, there's a figure in there. I was like, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of... It's shadowy. It's like a shadowy figure, and I, I absolutely adore this one. I'm trying to get it to... There we go. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys those. Um, I haven't really done an actual... Halloween themed pour yet. I plan to. I just haven't, my brain hasn't figured out what exactly I want to do yet. Um, but I do, I do plan to do one. But I wanted to show you something that's kind of, you know, Halloween y and October y that I, two pieces that I absolutely love. Um, and that, of course, um, Mac. Macaroni. No. He's been quiet, like, all day. I press record, and, yeah. 
But um, I really wanted to show you guys these. And let me know what you think. I mean, I, I absolutely love them. Um, there are two other failed wing pours that I do have videos for. I'll link those in the description. One I think I titled the Clumsy Wing Pour because I think I tripped over a dog toy. But it accidentally turned into a mixed media girl tornado pour. And it turned really turned out really cool. And then another one which I called Rainbow Road, um, which wasn't the wings, but totally reminded me of Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. So I will link those two in the description if you want to check those out. Um, let me know what you guys think of these. These are these are two of my absolute favorites. I I adore them. And um, I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm going to go before he keeps on barking. So I will see you guys on the next one. Much love, guys. Bye.